there for long enough. Which half do you want? Do you want this half? Do you want this half? I only go to church for two reasons, weddings and funerals. Wonder what I'm dressed for today. I like to have um, a ham, egg, and cheese biscuit and orange here. First, I want to thank everybody that has subscribed, liked, commented. I appreciate everything that you've said. No matter what you've said, I appreciate the likes. Please share this with your friends. Make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you hit that share button. We're trying to make sure that everybody know that they're not victims, that they're empowered for greatness, that we can make a difference again in this nation that we can stand up for biblical values, we can stand up for truth and push back against all the lies and everything that's false that's taking place in this land. So I appreciate that. And please, thank you for looking at my videos and participating and making our voice known. Welcome back. Glad to have you back. I wanna make our voice known channel. I know it's been a while, I apologize. Um, been busy doing some other things, moving and whatnot, as you can see by the different location, the setting and the background. I have to add some decor, you know, behind me to truly bring out the ambiance, if you will, of the room. But I'm glad to be back and glad to be bringing truth to let us know and to remind us that we are not victims, that we are empowered for greatness. If you haven't done so already, hit the like button on this video, subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, we're trying to have the true church, the true believers, the voice of the biblical believing Christians, people that believe in biblical values, people that believe in the truth. We want our voices to be raised, to match and exceed the voices of those who want to tear down this country and tear down everything that this country has been founded on. And speaking of that, so did you guys know that a pregnant man and a pregnant person emoji is now available on your iPhone? Oh yes. Last Thursday, Apple released new emoji, a pregnant man and a pregnant person. They mentioned this back in September of 2021, but it flew under the radar. I don't remember anyone ever talking about it. So it's, this falls along the same line of how they have slowly introduced alternative lifestyles into the mainstream to make those lifestyles acceptable. Because as soon as you make those lifestyles acceptable, Anyone that speaks out against it can be labeled a bigot, can be labeled a hate monger, can be labeled transphobe, can be labeled homophobe. And that's all the intention behind it. You have to understand something. When they are doing this, they use, see, technology is the voice of today. Technology is the medium that people are using and everybody has a phone. And the majority of people in America have an iPhone. And so what do they do to get you to accept and see men having babies as normal? You introduce it as an emoji. So you start slowly, you drip it. See, their strategy is to slowly drip, 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 drip. It's unnoticeable. And it's so unnoticeable to the regular person that they would just see it and gloss over it but you don't understand what they're doing. They're conditioning our minds to accept it. They're slowly, slowly, slowly conditioning our minds to accept it. And it's all part of a strategy to introduce gender fluidity. They have started this in schools. They've started teaching this stuff in schools to children because they want a generation to grow up 
thinking it's okay for a man to feel like a woman and for a woman to feel like a man. That's what they want. And so naturally, to get the people who are not children to buy into it, they introduce it into things that you use the most. And this is their strategy, to get regular people, regular Americans, to get people that go to church, people that are so-called conservative, to accept this, to see it. And at first you may be appalled, but then once you see it over and over and over again, your mind starts to change. See, that's the strategy of the enemy. See, what he does is he keeps coming. He knows that maybe the first time he tempts you that you won't acquiesce, that you won't give in, that you won't submit. But the more he does it, the more he does it. That's why the Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee. You have to resist. And it's not just one time. You must resist. You must have a posture of resisting and he will flee. But see, that's what this LGBTQ radical agenda is doing. They're slowly changing the culture. They're slowly introducing things that are abnormal to make them normal because they want it a part of mainstream. So once it's a part of mainstream, anyone that speaks out against it will be labeled a bigot. Think about marriage, for example, and they want to redefine everything. First, they wanted to redefine marriage. And so what did they do? They started slowly. They started introducing homosexual people into entertainment. And they started in schools, introducing that through books and things. And what do you know? 2014, the Oberfeld case, which is the Supreme Court, and marriage is now redefined. And they're doing the same thing with the transgender movement. The same strategy. They're slowly introducing it. They have introduced it into entertainment. You can't see one show with a black man who is not dressing like a woman. I mean, Tyler Perry happened to start it. He did. Medea, he was like a Trojan horse. Medea was like a Trojan horse. Medea was a Trojan horse to introduce this stuff into the mainstream. Yeah, I said it. Half everything in here belongs to her. Which half do you want? You want this half? You want this half? I only go to church for two reasons, weddings and funerals. Wonder what I'm dressed for today. I'd like to have a, um, a ham, egg, and cheese biscuit and orange shirt. Tyler Perry and Medea was a Trojan horse to introduce this stuff into the mainstream. In particular, to introduce this stuff to the black community. To break down the apprehension to break down the resistance, to break down the opposition, if you will, that black people have to LGBTQ and transgenderism. Medea was the Trojan horse. Think about it. All the success of those Medea movies, all the things that that character did and represented, it slowly, it slowly, it slowly conditioned black people in particular. And see, his audience was black Christians. That's what you, that what was so sinister about it. His audience, the Medea audience, was majority black Christians. Church going people. And what do you do? What does the enemy do? He allows, or he, he introduces something using something that's familiar. I'll say that again. He introduces something using something that was familiar. Everybody in the black community is familiar with a big mom. And so what do you do? He had a big black man dress up as a woman. So while a lot of characters are just thinking, oh, I'm saying Tyler Perry dressed up as a woman. No, in the back of your mind, the seed was being planted for transgenderism. The seed was being planted for you to accept LGBTQ. And so what do you know? Fast forward 10 to 15 years, now the black community is knee deep in LGBT. As a matter of fact, they have wrapped LGBTQ into blackness. I really didn't plan to go that way, but it must have been the spirit of God. They have wrapped the LGBTQ into blackness and Tyler Perry 
and Medea's character was the Trojan horse that led to this, that's led to stuff like this. And now they're coming for everybody by introducing a pregnant man and a pregnant person emoji. You know, the Bible talks about in the beginning, God made them male and female. He created them male and female. He gave a woman a womb. That's where the word woman comes from. A man with a womb. Woman, not a man, not a man. Woman, a woman with a womb. But in their attempt to redefine gender, to redefine what it means to be a woman, what it means to be a man, to cross things up the way the devil wants it, because the devil has always been about disrupting the reproduction of human beings. He hates human beings. So every attempt has been made to disrupt that prophecy God made in Genesis 3, where he said, the, the heel of the seed of the woman will bruise the head of the serpent. So the devil has, has constantly throughout the generations attempted to destroy the bloodlines and destroy reproduction. So why do you think throughout history we've had this happen before? Homosexuality, gender fluidity, like it happened back in Mesopotamia, ancient Mesopotamia. Why do you think that? Why do you think in the Egyptian world you had men wearing makeup and things like that? because the devil has always wanted to twist things up, to reverse the roles, to pervert everything that God has created. The devil wants to make us victims. We are not victims. We are empowered for greatness. And so if you see this pregnant man, this pregnant person emoji, please don't use it. It's not possible. It's not biologically possible. A quote unquote man cannot have a baby. That person's a woman. They may think they're a man. They may have taken testosterone to become a man, but they cannot become a man. They were born a woman, period. Um, I have to tell people the truth. I have to tell you the truth because I love you. You cannot become something that you're not physically. It doesn't matter what you do. You can cut off everything that you have. Biologically, you are still either a man or a woman. That's the way God created you. We are not victims. We are not victims. And let's stop allowing them to paint us as such. To use emotions, to use people's feelings to dictate how we behave and how we act. To make us acquiesce and give in. We will not give in because we are not victims. We are empowered for greatness. And yes, I say it again. Top of Paris, Medea character was the Trojan horse that introduced this stuff in the black community and now it's spread throughout the country and throughout the culture. We are not victims. We are empowered for greatness. Thank you so much for liking your comments and subscribing to the channel. Please share this with your friends. Smash that like button smash the subscription bell share this with everybody you know we're trying to make sure people understand that they're not victims that they are empowered for greatness and all this stuff that's out here that's telling them otherwise is false and will not benefit them in the end so please i appreciate that share that